Hello everyone, welcome back to more Monster Hunter Cross demo coverage, and because apparently no one is doing it, I'm going to do a lance video even though I'm not very good with lance. I tried it once off camera, we're just going to go with guild style. And yes. <clears throat> so at least you can see some of the new specials. Don't be expecting top level lance play, it's, I think I've used it like five times in total ever. I took the gun lance much more than normal lance. Anyway, this is also the female version of the, the Electric Steve flagship and his lance as well. So there you go, it's a pretty good design I think. Let's lift our stuff. So the two specials you get if you take guild style, it's a kind of a charge where you can do a final thrust if you press the attack button during the charge. And I think it also procs little hits if you're constantly charging into the enemy as well. And the other one is a counter, but if, well, it's a block, not a counter, because you don't actually hit the enemy back, but if you absorb a hit while you're in the block stance, you power up your lance. I assume it's attack up, but I'm not sure. And it lasts quite a while. So hopefully we'll see both those as we do this. I'm just going against the easiest monster because, as I say, I'm not very good with lance. But apparently no one is playing as lance for some reason, so why not? I'll jump in. And he is just through here. Alright, let's see how this goes. By the way, the third strike of the lance combo, the one that multi hits, if you land that, it fills up the bar on the first skill super quickly. That's what I noticed when I was playing it once off camera. I was honestly expecting you to do your jump, and you didn't. There we are. Sadly, just doing the repost doesn't give you any bar, you have to actually land the hit, so... Because he's flying past you, it's not that likely to happen. Oh, that only propped once. Prop three times, please. There we are, it did it. The full bar up. And put some distance between us, ideally. You just kind of stay over there. Yeah, I got him a little bit. So yeah, I did that finisher attack because I was going to fly past him otherwise. Get over here. Well, I suppose I can hit the little ones with it as well. Tried to do the repost at the last second there, but no. Oh, come on, you missed me! I didn't move, it was just you missing. Oh, that's the first ability back again already to give you some idea of how quick it is. That's what you get. You heal me so I don't have to, and I'll just keep attacking. We've almost got the other ability charged up. In fact, there it was, just there. Attack me! There we are! So now do a little fancy animation, and then you get that red glow on your lance, which I assume, as I said, is an attack up, but I don't know for sure. And it lasts a, a reasonable amount of time, I'd say. Not as long as some of the buffs, for sure. Hmm, I would argue I was past him when I did that, but whatever. Suck on that. Also, don't die too quickly, because I want to experiment a bit more. I think I was off-center there, that's why that didn't work. That's the first skill back again. Only I could land the repose, but no, he flies past you too fast. Get back here. Is that a change of area? Always, when I anticipate you doing that jump, you just, you miss me even though I don't move. Isn't there an ability for the lance where you kind of turn after the repost or before it? <clears throat> if there is, I don't know what it is that you press to do it. I mean, as I say, I'm not very experienced with the weapon. Missed the big swing there, that's okay. Ha! 
<laughs> and it's back again already. That's so quick. Oh, you would have had to run just there, wouldn't you? I'm also not entirely sure how you do the the running charge as opposed to the counter, you know what I mean? Because the buttons for the two are the same. Like, there's the counter, and I think that's shoulder button plus both buttons, right? But then you've got the run forwards, which I failed to do there. I think you just have to start moving forwards first before you press the buttons, is that right? Which is probably one of the first things you should learn when you use Lance, but I haven't, so... Oh, you're tired. We'll get our block skill in a little bit here. Turn around real quick. Oh, never mind, I can hit your tail. Do the upward pokes to make sure I hit it. I would have to do the wrong one. Jump at me, jump at me quick! Ah. Now he's laughing at me. Here it comes. No, he's attacking the cat. Ah, again, I did it wrong. Although it kind of worked out. Oh, no it didn't. That's the normal one back. Steer! Steer! Yeah! You have very slight steering. You don't have full control. Well done, you smushed the bugs. Thank you. No, don't go after the cats. Go after me. Again, you went after that's because the cat's doing the cheerleader thing, isn't it? We're about halfway through the buff bar if you're trying to time how long it lasts. Also, is it better to do like the gun lance thing, poke poke back step? Although you you don't get nearly as much of the bar unless you do that final strike. Damn. You would have had to have gone after the cat at the last second. Ah! Wonder how aerial style would work with this weapon, or hell, even Bushido. Good attempt, cats. Good attempt. Oh, broke his tail. Yeah, you, you'd have to see the bar to believe me, but that triple strike at the end there, that one, it makes the bar fill so quick, maybe even too quick, to be honest. I haven't seen any other ability fill the bar as fast as that does. You can't escape! Make your time! Oh, I didn't get to do the final strike because I didn't press it fast enough. Alright, but he is almost dead here. I feel like Lance is maybe a weapon I should learn properly in Cross. Put a little bit of time into it. I like Gunlands. They're, they've got the same fundamentals. Although there is different ways to play the Lance, isn't there? There's the aggressive style where going for repose. Every time. I mean to do the run, I do the counter and vice versa. I was trying to smack that. There, get away. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> countered the kid by accident. Ah! Charge! Almost got both back again. Oh, he's running! No, don't turn to the left! That's my one weakness. Oh, I, I didn't actually mention, but I'm recording this just before my final four unites starting. So the chat's filling up. And I propose here saying I'm taunting him with my Monster Hunter Cross videos. 
because I have a spare Japanese 3DS and I offered it to him if he was interested in it. It's spare in the sense that I had to get one with a capture card, so I've got a golden Rajang one that I don't need to have. Wait until he's attacking me, for sure. Oi. No, that did count as attacking me. Do it again, now. Do it, quick, quick. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's what you get. Uh, this could be the end here. Not if I do the wrong attack again. Please tell me the distinction between the two because I... It feels like I'm pressing the same buttons but sometimes it does one, sometimes it does the other. I think it is to do with when you're holding forwards or not but I'm not sure. And I can't check the Japanese instructions. Ah, uh, you would have to back step first, right? Charge me! Nope, you're gonna sit there and call for your children. No. Why didn't I block that? Or counter it, rather. Alright, let's end it then. I imagine you're very, very close. He jumped over that attack. That was actually well timed. And I think this will do it. My timing is pretty good, sometimes. Not when I'm trying to do the charge rather than the counter. But that's okay. So there's a, a noob's perspective on guild style lance. I'm interested in potentially checking out other styles, so let me know if you want to see them. Now I have a Monster Hunter Fortnite to go to, so if you'll excuse me, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and ta-ta for now.